Hello, I just wanted to share this word that uh, God gave me just a few minutes ago um, for everybody. Um, it's, he said he's going to ignite us into our future. He's going to ignite you into your future. He's going to shoot you into your future, into doing those things he's called you to do. And he's going to reconstruct you. He's going to reconstruct your situations, your circumstances. And he's just going to reconstruct you. And it's sort of like they do an old building that they're, they're renovating to make into something else. Well, they go in there and they, they start from the ground up and they just build it, rebuild it, you know, from from scratch. They just start all over again. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to reconstruct you and, and, and ignite you on fire for him more and more because he's got great plans for you and he's got great things for you to do. And he's preparing you for those great things. So he's going to ignite you and he's just going to shoot you right into it. He's going to shoot you into the future and into doing those things that he's called you to do. And he's going to give you the grace and the, and the understanding and the wisdom and the knowledge and the clarity that you need to get through that season and to get through the things that, that you may face in that season. But there's a lot of difficulties and, and things that people face in different seasons, which we know they're getting more intense now because the enemy knows that his time is short. So he's throwing all kinds of stuff. He's throwing all kinds of curveballs and all kinds of just craziness. And he's trying to get our focus off of God and he's trying to get us to focus on our circumstances and situations and just see everything as hopeless and just give up and you know give in to everything and just give in to the pressure but no we, we we're strong we're, we're strong and mighty in God and we don't do it on our own strength we can't we have to draw from his strength we have to draw from him we have to draw from what he's given us we have to draw from the strength that he's given us and we have to, to just cling to him like we never have before and just trust him even in those dark times when you're going down those dark roads, like I was just telling my friend um, a few minutes ago, because she's getting a port on her pretty thick too, and um, it's just, it just reminds me how the enemy just hates God's people. He hates God's people. We, I mean, we've known that, you know, it's no secret, but he hates God's people. He hates people that do his work, and those that are doing his work, those that are in ministry, those that are, that are you know, the chosen of God. I mean, he's after everybody, of course. I'm not saying he's not. I'm not, you know, putting specifics on anything. I'm just saying that those that are in ministry are getting it more intense because of the fact that they're getting God's word out and they don't like it. He, the devil doesn't like it. He hates it. He can't stand that. So he's doing everything he can to come against them, you know, just like with me and my internet. And, I, they, you know, the people came out today to try to fix it, but they couldn't fix it. So now they got to send somebody else out which is either going to be today or later today or tomorrow. So that's a whole nother issue. But, you know, I still got my backup internet. I still got my data plan that I can get internet on, praise the Lord. So I'm not held back from that. Thank you, Jesus. But, you know, that's just a prime example, you know. He tries to throw these curveballs and he tries to get, our, get us to think and to actually believe that people are our enemy. Like he was with my friend earlier, but people are not our enemy we gotta quit you know thinking that it's like no we have an enemy but it's not people we don't war with flesh and blood we war with principalities and powers of darkness and you know we gotta keep our focus on god and keep our focus on who our real enemy is so that we can fight him with the spiritual weapons that god gave us so that you know when he does come against us we can withstand the the fiery darts that he throws at us but I tell you, it's, it's getting, really getting more intense these days, and it, it ain't going to quit. I, I would love to say it would, but it's not. It's going to get more intense, but that's just preparing us, you know. You got to remember, that's just preparing us for what God has before it, has for us in the future. That's just preparing us for the bigger and better things that he has for us. And, you know, the clue to, to you know, I mean, sometimes God doesn't always tell us what the plans are, of course, because we'd be like Jonah and run. <laughs> we just run from it, but he doesn't always give us the whole, you know, picture because of that reason. He doesn't want us to run from it, but, you know, the things that he, that he doesn't tell us, we just have to trust him. It's like going down that dark road, you know, when, like you're driving at night down a dark road that has no light, and you're just driving and driving and driving down this road, and you're, you know there's light at the end of that road somewhere, but you're just trusting God and you're believing Him. And you know that He'll shine that light sooner or later. And when, you know, when you get to the end of that road, you know that there's going to be light. So you just trust Him and believe Him even in those times when you don't understand. And even in those times when things look crazy and just chaotic and just out of place and out of line and just messed up. And 
all that and just keep in mind that that's the enemy he's trying to he's trying to mess with you and get your focus off of God and he's he'll throw every little trick and <laughs> thing that he can at you of course there's nothing new with him he's been using these same tricks since the beginning of time since Adam and Eve so that's that's nothing new with him I mean he throws the same things at us all the time so there's nothing it's nothing new with him so you know just keep your focus on God and keep your keep you know keep your eyes fixed on him and know that he's going to show you the way through it he's he won't bring you to it without bringing you through it just like I told my friend earlier I said if he brings you to something he's going to take you through it he's not going to drop you he's not going to let you go in the middle or you know in the beginning he's not going to just say oh this is too hard I'm going to drop you no he's going to carry you through it and he's going to see you through it you just got to trust him and believe him and know that he will do it for you and that he loves you and that he has great plans for you so just be encouraged and just keep your focus on God because you know don't let the enemy you know get your focus off of God and on the situations and circumstances that you're facing and on other things that ain't important just keep your eyes fixed on him and know that he's gonna show you the way out of whatever you're facing he'll show you the way out of it you just gotta trust him and sometimes that's not an easy thing to do but we can trust God and know that he has the best for us in mind so he's not gonna just dump us off somewhere he's gonna carry us through the whole process no matter what we face or what we're you know going through he's gonna carry us through it and see us through it and the blessing is just right on the other side because you know the tougher it gets the bigger the blessing you just gotta remember that the more tougher it gets <laughs> you know during the process of going through it the bigger the blessing is on the other side so and just keep that in mind and keep your focus on God and be blessed. Until next time. Bye.